Hello, welcome to Travel with Suri. Are you dreaming of pristine beaches, crystal clear waters and a tropical paradise getaway? Look no further than the San Blas Islands in Panama. This archipelago of over 350 islands is a hidden gem that is just waiting to be explored. The islands are part of the Comarca de Cunayala, an independent indigenous territory stretching from the Caribbean side of Panama to Colombia. In this video, I will show you everything you need to know to plan your trip and make the most of your time in San Blas. Welcome to the San Blas Islands, Panama. The day trip from Panama City takes about 4 hours in total. Most of the tours leave early in the morning around 5 am and include a 2.5 hours 4 wheel ride to the port, where you will then hop on a 30 to 45 minutes boat to the islands. The San Blas Islands are a group of islands located in the east coast of Panama in the Caribbean Sea. While San Blas is technically part of Panama, it is actually an autonomous indigenous province and is run by the Kuna people. The Guna people are the residents of San Blas Islands. They are an indigenous tribe with a long history that predates the existence of Panama and Central America. There are Guna communities on 49 of the 370 islands in San Blas. Since you are technically entering an independent province, be aware that you will need to pay $22 fee as a non-resident and show your passport to authorities upon entering the Comarca of Cunayala. We reached our first island called Coasir Dub San Blas Island. The beach is located in a natural place with a very picturesque views. It is partially covered by trees which give natural shade. It is a spacious coastline with a crystal turquoise water and bright sand. Hey guys, we are on the Trap Island of the Island. San Blas Island. Gosirdub San Blas beach shoreline is completely occupied by the hotels. This beach is suitable for different categories of people, lonely travelers, relaxation getaway lovers, etc. It is not crowded. After spending about an hour here, we went to the second island for our lunch. Hey guys, uh, I am in uh, Grass Island. Uh, it is one of the islands in San Blas Island. Uh, it is in Panama. And uh, see the beach. It is so beautiful. So amazing. We are stopping here for lunch. After the lunch, we will see maybe another two islands. We enjoyed a fresh lunch consisting of a fried fish mixed seafood or chicken with rice and salad. It also includes one beverage.
This is my most favorite part of the day. After having lunch at second island, we went to the third island. But before reaching third island, we found this amazing place for swimming and snorkeling. It looks like a paradise on earth. You can always come to San Blas Islands and just enjoy doing literally nothing. You can easily spend the entire day lazily swinging in a hammock with a coconut or a beer in your hands. But the islands offer so much more. Each island offers you a perfect powdery white sands and crystal clear water. I thoroughly enjoyed my swimming and snorkeling here. It is so amazing. The San Blas Islands are under your tropical maritime climate with the temperatures almost the entire year at around 80 to 85 degree Fahrenheit and night temperatures around 75 degree Fahrenheit. We are on the way to our third and last island of the day. This island is so beautiful with white sand beaches, crystal clear water and shops and restaurants. San Blas Islands runs on a cash only, so make sure to bring sufficient cash. Also don't forget your beach wear and don't forget your camera of course. This is just a paradise, I let you enjoy the scenes. trip to San Blas, I would recommend to book a tour and pick the length of your stay. Your hosts will take care of the rest. I have used my GoPro for the first time for snorkeling, so from next time onwards, it will be very clean and clear. If you are going to Panama, I would highly recommend visiting the San Blas Islands. It is a paradise on earth and you will have a blast for sure. <laughs> 